thank you so much. Yeah, it was um, it was a very quick shoot, mm. and for for the time that we spent on on making the movie, I was really really impressed with how it came out. I absolutely loved the film. Uh, and and tell me a little bit about your character, Veronica. Well, basically, I play uh, Veronica, who is a former soap actress, and <laughs> um, I've decided that I'm leaving the show because they wanted to make me the mother of a 16 year old. And that to me was very, um, it's very upsetting. <laughs> so I decided that I want to leave the show and basically, you know, it's, it's kind of a, um, something that's very difficult for her to deal with. And therein lies the rub as Shakespeare said. Yes. yes. You have an incredible amount of training and improv. Uh, d- does that come to bear when you're, when you're in a film? Thank you so much. Um, it does definitely because, uh, you know, when there's moments where another actor might go off book or, or go off the script, I mean, um, you know, it's the improv training definitely keeps you in the moment and you can continue the story with, you know, without really having any, any lines, you just keep, you just keep going and it's just, um, it makes it, makes it easier. Second city is, was an incredible experience for me. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm, I'm a member. <laughs> oh, great. Wow. And, and, and the groundlings, cause you know, Mindy yes. Sterling and I were, uh, are, are good friends and it, it, you know, a lot of people think, well, that's all comedy, but you know, dramatic improv is, is a lot harder. Yes. I think it's just basically, um, when you know your character and you know what they're going through in this particular um, moment, you, you just can kind of go on that. And the, the, the things that happen, the happy accidents that happen make it even more magical and special because, you know, you end up surprising yourself with these moments that, that happen. And in, in the day and age we live in, um, it, it, it seems that more and more women are stepping out and, and directing and producing. Is that something on your slate? It's absolutely something I would love to do. Um, I co-wrote a film that is slated to begin filming possibly the beginning of next year. So I would be the executive producer and co-writer of that. And directing has been something that I would love to do it's something that i i wanted to do since i was a little girl so a dear dear friend of mine uh who's on another show she's on a, a, a show called leverage uh, uh mm-hmm. beth reesgraf just directed her first two shows uh and and now she's a member of the dga and it's just such a freeing thing she told me to be able yeah. to have that kind of control um you know over the visual of a, of a series or a film Definitely, definitely. And I think we need more, um, more women directing because it's, it's something that I think in the last few years, there's been so many incredible films made by women. And, um, you know, I, I just feel like there's, there's a need for, for that. And we have a lot of stories to tell. And there's some great stories out there, as I said, mm-hmm. with Want and Want. I mean, this is a story that, you know, is, is almost Shakespearean in, <laughs> in, in everything that goes on here because you've got so many different elements circling. And by the time we're done, we're, we're looking at ourselves as an audience going, what, what, what am I dealing with here? You know, do I, you know and, and stepping into truth is, yeah. is hard for everybody. Yes. Well, I, I love the way you put that. I think that's absolutely correct. And watching it, I was, I, I actually watched it um, twice because a friend of mine wanted to, to watch it with me. And, you know, you actually even notice so many different things the sec- uh, upon the second viewing. And um, there was so many lines that would connect to other scenes and, and all these little, you know, kind of just like clues as to what's going on. And um, I really enjoyed it. And I, I, I think what you're saying is so true because we all, we all can look at ourselves and think, you know, 
how do we connect to these people? And, and I think what they're going through is so interesting and especially Douglas too. Right. But as an actor, I, I do think that when you're on a, a, a limited budget film mm-hmm. and you're wearing different hats and, you know, all, all everything that goes on makes you fall in love more with the movie than I would think, you know, working on, a, hey, it's great to work on the Avengers or whatever, multi-billion right. dollar movies, but you also lose something, I think, in that in the in the deal. Yeah, and there was such a, a true intimacy that was was happening with um, myself and the and the cast members. We we really connected, and you know we're all great friends, and we're all close to this day. And I think Justin really brought a, a interesting group of people together, and you know I really think it it was just kind of um special what what happened the dynamics that were were forming and well, i hope yeah. that that translates to the shoshana film. is is an amazing actress and and absolutely her to step into a role like that and then of course on the other side is 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 victor uh, veronica i'm sorry and <laughs> it's it's this is a chess game there is no way you can fit this into a genre and say well this is this type of movie because it's right it's everything. It's a thriller. It's, it's a romance, but it's not a romance. It's, you know, it, yeah. it's just got everything in it. Yeah, I totally agree. And I, I think it's, it's a, it's a ride, you know, you go, you watch it. And I, and I definitely found myself thinking about it later and being like, well, I wonder what was real and, you know, not to, to give too much away, but you know, so much is left to your own interpretation. And I think with music and film, the best songs and the best movies are able to speak to you in a way where it's like, it's not just right in your face. Like this is what it means. It's something that connects to you, whatever you're going through. And it's, it, it's something that is very special when a movie or, or, or a song does that, you know, and And I think Justin did a beautiful job. As I'm watching this film, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm so glad this role came around for you oh, because thank you. this, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's really takes a long time in this business to be noticed and to say, wow, she's got chops, you know, um, and, and this really proves it for you. And, and your character and your interpretation of this character, um, you know, is, is really a deep one. Thank you so much. Well, I think as a woman and an actress in this business, I could relate to this almost crossroads you come to where you have to decide, like, unfortunately, for for many women, they have to decide, do we want this, this family life? Or do we want to have this career? And sometimes it's hard to have to have both. And I think a lot of women feel um, that they have to make these this choice. And I think with Veronica, it's like, she wanted so much. And I believe that she really loves Douglas, but um, she's wanting something to be there. That's almost not there. And it's, she's not really looking at him clearly. And um, I think like at towards the end, she starts to really see like, there's no saving him. And, you know, well, I also, I also feel like, you know, in real life, you know, um, Mm -hmm. I still think this exists where, you know, you hit like 32, 33, and all of a sudden you're a mom, like your character. Yeah. And, you know, the sad thing is, is that I think everyone, every performer and every artist has so much more to share with more life experiences. And you, you can bring your own experiences, whether it's heartbreak or loss or anything you've gone through in your life, like just make something so much more beautiful when you bring it you can use that pain and you can bring your your own truth to a character and I think so many people are put in this like box where oh you're this and it's not true you know we all have incredible experiences that we go through in life and I think it's it's beautiful to see people at all ages and going through their own struggles and being able to to express that to an audience I think I think it's it only gets better with the more experiences you you happen upon in your life, you know. Every set that you're on is an education of of some kind. Absolutely, and I feel very grateful I, I was able to play this role because I'm 
I, I definitely relate to what she's going through. So, uh, well, you're at that, you're at that, uh, what are you 22, 23? No. <laughs> yeah. You know, I just, I can finally drink. <laughs> we had to put on some makeup to make me look older. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. I just celebrated the 34th anniversary of my 34th birthday. So there you oh, go. Oh, I love it. <laughs> So, uh, well, it was a pleasure talking fantastic. with you, Jackie. You are such a, a, a wonderful conversationalist. You should be doing this too. You should have a talk show. Oh my gosh, Tony. Thank you so much. <laughs> I need to work on my background. You have a much better background going on. Uh, $14 <laughs> on Amazon. This I love it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So you can get one too. I will. Maybe. Unless you didn't make $14 on want and want, and then I'll send you one as a gift. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I've worked on movies just for the concessions, just for the, the, the crafty card. So I, you know what? That's the thing. We'd all do it for free. That's what they don't know. Yeah. Well, they I do would. know that. <laughs> so what? they do know that the secret. They do out. know that. Yeah. Anyway, but, it was a pleasure oh. talking with you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye, Tony. Bye-bye.